Hello, welcome back to All the Mods 9. We got some power. We have so much power. Oh, it is generating power. How much are we genning right now? A lot. How do we see that? Oh, uh, I could just go here. 19 million power. This thing's still pumping up. You're still slowly filling with fissile fuel. Okay. We have more power to get. We need more power. And the reason we need more power is because if we want to get into this stuff here with mechanism and the antimatter, we're going to need 400 million RF just to get one millibucket of antimatter. So yeah, it'd be worth getting this fusion reactor here pumped up even more. I wonder if there's a better way to get heavy water than what we're doing here. Does it depend on how large the water source is? I'm actually going to search that. 10 millibuckets of heavy water can be extracted from a water source block via an electric pump. That's all. Is that literally the only way? Yes, it is. Okay, so we might make a bunch of electric pumps and we're going to put them not right here. I don't think. Or if we do, we'll just put them along this line here and we'll connect the uh, the tube up. But we're gonna need a bunch. How much are we producing right now? Is it gonna tell me? 130 millibuckets per tick. And if we want to be able to do this and have excess, we need to have 37 more heavy pumps. And that's just to match the burn rate. So we're gonna probably want even more electric pumps. I'm just gonna, oh, never mind. That's a lot of stuff in. There, so I'm going to go dump this first. Do I have it on? I do. Okay. Let's dump all this out. Oh, it dumped my wand. Give that back. I need that. You can't have it. And now we can put those things away. <clears throat> Yeah, sorry for the mic issues last episode. Um, like I said, I'm still trying new things, so I have another new kind of config that I'm going for. So if I find something that sounds really good to you guys, then please do let me know. I definitely need the feedback because it's weird hearing your own voice, and it's hard to EQ that to make it pleasant because typically hearing your own voice isn't really pleasant. Um... <laughs> uh, Anyway, we need a bunch of electric pumps, and you know what that means? That means we're going to make a pattern for it. Because I ain't messing with that. So, let's do this. Check that bad boy in there. Now we're going to craft it. Oops. We're just going to make 40 because we have 13. So let's just do that. Oh, look at that. Look, look at all those. Would you just look at them? Isn't that super freaking nice? The answer is yes, it is. It is very nice in case, in case you were wondering. Okay, so we're going to do a small tunnel. All right. And then we need to place uh, the heavy pumps on top of all of this. We're gonna do this so we can place all of the pumps. Yeah, okay, now they're all filter upgraded. So we can now put the water in. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now we need to place mechanical pipes. The deed is done. We need to make upgrades for each of these. So that's eight times four. So we need 320 of each upgrade. 300, yep. And that'll be all of the upgrades once those are finished. Well, we're good there. So for these, right now these are making, what was it, 240 I think is what I said? Yeah, because it's uh, 40 each. So if we want this to be able to run full time all day, we're gonna need um, like a thousand. It'll probably be a thousand and forty millibuckets per tick that we're gonna do. Um, so we're gonna need to make three times uh, as many of these. So we have six. So we're gonna need to have twenty-four total, 
And we don't have space for that. <laughs> we don't have space over here for that unless we like bend it around. Um, but we could also do the same thing like here. And also these need power. Um, we need a flux point, probably a few. I'll come here, put this on our output network, bypass the limit. Wow, we're getting heavy water. Uh, how are our upgrades? We have the 300s. All right, these are all upgraded. I have developed carpal tunnel. Perfect, exactly what I wanted for my birthday. It's not my birthday. Uh, we need to reach, we need to reach over to here, pipe it in. And then what we'll probably want to do, probably move these in line here. Need to make more solar neutron. Need to make a lot of these too. 17, 18. Okay. And for this, we'll probably just also go down the line. These don't use power, which is nice, but we do need room for input and output. So we're going to have to leave a space in between. And what we're going to do here is this. We're going to link this up to here. Okay. What the f What was that? What was that? Shift G, control G. I don't even know what that was. What the hell was that? Can somebody who knows what that was tell me what I just did? Okay. All these are full of lithium. This I think we're going to run out of actually. It's the the lithium. So I think we're going to have to make another ther thermal evaporation plant and we'll uh have to route that lithium. We'll probably route it under, like right here. Probably route it right here into this mechanical pipe. Also, we can increase the size. Maybe that will help. Because then, oh yeah, because then we can double it, right? Because what is it right now? It's at height nine. Yeah, let's just do that. I totally forgot that we didn't make this as tall as it could be. There we go, son. We're freaking doing it, too. Now our limit is actually this machine and why is that not enough energy to operate bro with bypass limit do i just have to turn on power surge then oh now you're fine we still can't produce enough oh we just need to make another rotary condensator then rotary condensator all right even with both of these fully upgraded we still can't keep up with our lithium usage that's nuts. Is that so? Is that truly so? Oh yeah, because this is full. These guys can't even pull enough in. Oh, so maybe we just make another condensator again. There we go. We're still not even. Oh, well, this one needs to upgrade. Are we good now? Are we going up now? Nice. Okay. Can this keep up as well? Sweet. All right, so this keeps up. Okay, so each of these actually are only burning 30. Before it said 40, do these get nerfed in the patch? Because I just patched. That means my math is bad. So we have 18 of these producing 30 each. Do we have enough then? Uh, 720, which means we don't have enough. Because it's going to take 500. Oh, damn it. This really sucks. This really did ruin me. The The patch definitely did it. Well, at least it happened before I set the system up instead of after. We're at 720. Yeah, we're going to need 10 more, which means we're going to need, we're most likely going to need another one of these over here. One of those. Now we got a bunch of tritium. This is going to be drained. Is this still good? So we can add another condensator on top still. Upgrade it. Yeah, we're still going way down. Is this also keeping up at least? So we're still pretty damn good. You see, you see that little bit there that's missing. That means that we need 1100 liquid lithium. I think that that means what we're using per tick. So we're close to max output, I think. Yeah, I think if we put one more on here, we're gonna be in the negative. So we might be good with how much this can produce during the day and then how much this drains during the night. We will see. But we should have enough of these now. We have 40. No, we have 39 of them producing 30. So 33 would be 990. And then you take six more. That's 180. So we're at 1,070 per tick. Or 1,000. Sorry, math. 1,170 per tick. 
is what we're at right now. That means that we are going to be good on the tritium uh, for the DT fuel. The deuterium we should also be very good with, with how much heavy water we're getting. Uh, I don't know exactly how much this is producing. I hope enough. What the hell are you guys doing over here? You, <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> what are you doing? You guys love those spots. You just like to spin on nothing. Okay. I think we can... Well, if we turn this off, we're screwed. But we have a few ticks. We can do this. We do this. Do this. Oh, it's out of fuel. Will it burn? Let it burn. Gotta let it burn. Can we dump that fuel? <laughs> you stupid ass. <laughs> so our problem right now is that this has tritium in it. Does this have enough power in it? It almost does. So I should be able to break this to reset the fuel, right? And then do that. No, it still has tritium. How do I get the tritium out? Do I just need to add another freaking port over here? Because I will. Okay, so if I break it, it'll have the amount that it needs, right? And then it should burn it all. Well, it's off right now. But when it does turn on, it should burn everything also we just wasted so much dt fuel dude Ugh. that was painful yeah we're producing 512 millibuckets per tick so we're gonna be able to keep up but that is super freaking painful man oh it's very painful we lost so much rip in peace are we producing enough deuterium in this i don't think so do we have enough oh we have no room in output and this thing is still going it's a good problem to have. This should have enough now, right? Oh, it already... Did it already do it? Oh, no. Oh, man. So it already outputted all that energy that we had waiting. Dang it. I bet it was the damn llama. That other freaking llama. I bet it was you, bastard, and the traitor. It probably wasn't, but gives me something to complain about. These are These are filling up. This is not good. I don't know what to do with you guys. I just want to have it go down underground. We'll just put all of our nuclear waste down here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. These should start filling up. There we go. And then... Yeah. Okay. We have done it. Move all of our problems underground where nobody can see what we've done wrong. We've got all these barrels. I hope that is enough. There are 46 barrels down there. That should hopefully be enough. Filling up on the DT fuel. If this lasts, then we know we're good to go. It needs to last quite a while though, so we will see. We gotta, we gotta find somebody else to monitor our mechanism area since uh we lost howard <laughs> wow we almost have two trillion power what i didn't even know that i think this will sustain throughout the day so we should be okay with just these four and with just this evaporation plant i hope i really do hope so i think we're good on the heavy water front though like we're maxed out oh well we're maxed out because this isn't getting used so we need to keep an eye on this once uh once it is in use i mean we can work on building the frame for the sps thing we can do that since we're waiting on power so super critical phase shifter we have some stuff and things for it we need this reactor glass okay sps go laser go laser go Oh, it gave me another one. Oh, well. Okay, so we need to build the build it like this. So it's going to be, was that a 7x7? Seven seven? Okay. Then we can build it over here. Since we've got space, I think we have space. Probably not. Yeah, this is this is the area with the most space, so. um, How much more space do we have in the chunk? Is this the edge of the chunk? Oh, it is. Oh, well. We need more room. 
I don't want to build it here because it'll get away in the way of this in case we build more. And we're going to build this outward this way. So the best place to put it would be over here. All right. I think that's enough room. Yeah. And put it on the edge right over here. Actually, I'm not going to do that just in case we increase the size of this too. So I'll leave extra space for this. And then we're going to build this. This should be enough space, right? For it, for this thing. And if anything, we can just extend outward. So we're going to build it in this corner right over here. SPS casing. So. I think that's the bottom done properly. Looks like it. And then we go, um, where do I want to put these boards so I can access them easily? Well, whichever way I place them, they're not going to be easy to access. So do it here. And then we'll do the other one right here. And I think we fill the rest in with a glass. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. So it goes like that. And then we place the one block here. And I think it just goes around like that. And then up. Yep, I think that's exactly how it is. Except for this block here. Did I mess up the dimensions here? Oh, no I didn't. Because it's going to be like this on the top. Yep, I'm good. I thought I messed it up. But I did not. Okay, let's finish this bad boy up. I'm out of SPS casing, dude. It lied to me. Unless I just built this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I did not. I might have, though, because this looks kind of sus. Is that proper? Three blocks, yeah. Yep. No, I, I think I did it right. It just looks weird. Oh, that's why it looks weird, because this is supposed to be glass. Duh. Well, it can be glass. So that's why it was looking odd to me. So I'm going to go ahead and change that for all of these. All right. Multi-block complete. Very nice. What are we going to get? A solar generator again. Oh, man. We're going to get so much power from this one, too. Oh, give me the power. All of your insane power generation. Look at that. 187 FE per tick. Nuts. Okay, so that's built. Is this going? Did you make it? You shot into this and it's not working. What the hell? Oh, oh, duh. I forgot to put the freaking hull ROM in there. That's why that would make sense. We have to fill this with the DT fuel. And that's exactly why both times the reactor has not started up. Well, shoot. So let's go here and fill this up. All right. It's full of DT fuel. Drop it in there. So now when this fires again, we will start this thing up properly. I sure hope. It didn't even burn the fuel because it wasn't prepared to. All right, quest. We built it like that. We definitely did that. Okay. This is going to need a bunch of power. And it's going to also need to be able to output antimatter, which we can do out of this side. And then we'll do whatever machines we need to right here. If we need to do any, which I think we will have to. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a chemical crystallizer to make antimatter pellets. And is that all? Is that all? Oh, we need to input polonium. Raw polonium, not uh, the gems. Okay. Is this the one doing polonium? Yeah. Okay. So we can just like that over to there. These are pressurized tubes. Can we input into this? Okay. This is filling up with polonium, which is very good. I'm happy to see that. We just need this to fill up again. Um, and shoot into here with the whole ROM in it. So then this thing will turn on and start going. Beow. 
because I would like it to go boom. And then we'll be able to produce antimatter with this, with this bad boy over here. Uh, then we need the chemical crystallizer. Yeah. So we need a crystallizer over here. We're going to make another one. I know we have two in our backpack, but that one already has stuff in it. So I would like to not mess with that. So let's give this some space. What is it? One, two, three. Let's do three blocks. Then we'll place the crystallizer. We will put a point on the top. All right. <laughs> uh this for output out of there then you bypass your limit and then you are output idle how do we turn this on oh you need 200 million per tick okay let's just chunk load all this so these things are ready to take power we just don't have enough polonium to do that because we're not uh we're not taking in enough polonium and we need, that means we need more solar neutron. So many solar neutrons. That's fine with me because the more we can get to antimatter, the more betterer. All right. I'd like to focus on the antimatter. So let's break this off. We'll place that there. So we know to place it uh, here. And actually what I can do is this and then I'll just break that. And it could, yeah, because then we can just reconnect it. There we go. So now all of the produced will go into there. Okay, that's almost done. I'm gonna go to sleep because I think the evil guys are about to start spawning on us. God, look how much stuff we've done over here. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> that line of machines there. Hey, we're setting up so we can scale, baby. This is almost done. Ooh, it's almost done. And I hope this works properly. <laughs> I really freaking hope so. That'd be pretty cool. Is this doing good over here? Okay, sweet. So this is able to fill up during the nighttime and it's keeping up perfectly with this. This thing is still full of brine. How is our brine? We're actually going down because we had 1.1 million buckets. So we are going down in brine. Hmm. We're going to need to make two more of uh these i think yep we will probably make them this way i think all right how are these going any of you empty yet no you're all still just kicking off hell yes good job good job managing the factory bud you're doing the work look at that that's so many we have so much stuff this is the most stuff i've ever had how close are you Oh, you did it. You shot. Are you on? You're on. And you're going up. You're going up. Are you burning DT? You're burning DT. And we can't keep up with that. Wait a minute. What? Why can't we keep up? I thought we had plenty. It said 500 millibuckets per tick. And this is producing 512. Hold on a minute. Are you using as much as you can? I'm so confused. What the hell? Are we at least producing antimatter from this? We are. Okay, I need to tell you to stop taking the gas. Yeah, stop taking it. Let these take it. Holy crap. Our power is actually getting drained more than this can produce still. Maybe we uh take one of these lasers off. Just do one laser for now. And this is going to slowly produce antimatter. How are we running out of DT fuel though? We're not going to have enough tritium and deuterium to hold up with that. This is using so much. It said it used 500. Did it go up? Okay, now we're going up, but now we're running out of deuterium. We're not running out of heavy water. This just can't produce enough. No, yeah, this can't produce enough. Dang it. Well, I'm glad we figured this out now instead of later, because later would have been bad. So let's make another electrolytic separator. There we go. Now we're positive there, but we're negative on our heavy water. Okay, we're positive now. And is this working? Yep, these are working full blast. We're positive on the heavy water. This is getting drained overnight. And we're positive on the DT fuel production. We're going to need to do even more power, though, because we need more of this. Well, no, this one should be fine for getting our 200 million power per tick, specifically for the antimatter over here. But other than that, this power is essentially, we have to essentially think of this as not our power. 
because this thing's going to be using all of that to make the antimatter. So yeah, we're going to have to do it differently there. Wow, holy crap. Look at all that. And we're just keeping up. With all of these machines, we are just keeping up with the power or with the uh, DT consumption. So we probably need to make this bigger and we need to improve this. We need to raise this higher, it looks like, because it can hold more um, fans, which means we should probably scram this. Let's scram this. This should dissipate all the steam. And then we're going to upgrade this as well so we can get even more power. As soon as it's out of steam, we need to make some more turbine casings and some more vents. Okay. All right. Let's get in here. Dump all your steam, buddy, because I have to break you. So I hope you don't destroy my world. Okay, I think that's as, yeah, that's as big as we can do for this. Okay, now take the vents, do the pressure dispersers. Okay, those are down. Now we need to place the electromagnetic coils like that. Then we do the condensers here. And since we placed even more vents, we should be much better off as well. And we're going to go up probably one more layer with vents. And do the turbine casing here. But we do need more vents. We're going to need, was that 20 more? 20 more for the sides and then 35 more vents. Okay, well, we made 40. That's fine. So this before was producing what? 2.1 million? Let's see uh, how much it produces now. Well, it'll probably still produce the same amount, right? Because it's the same amount of steam coming from this. Or maybe it'll do more with having more vents. I don't know, but we will see. It says it's not complete. Why aren't you complete? What did I miss? And why isn't this working is really what I'm confused about. Didn't see no red particles. Ooh. Oh no. Everything's gonna break. It's gonna start blowing up. Yeah, it's gonna start breaking shit. Yep. Son of a gun. And we just irradiated our area again. <laughs> Oh no. Damn it. Well, clearly I have messed up. I did a goof, but it's not all bad. It's not all bad. We, we did this. We got this to work. We figured this out. We've got almost 200 million power coming through, which is absolutely nuts, but we also broke these. So, oh, well, <laughs> oh no. You know what? It happens. Our thing here is still good. That's okay. We've, we're getting some antimatter and that's what matters. Who cares if this thing broke and dissipated all of its nuclear waste? I totally don't care. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's put this thing back together, I guess, since it wanted to be such a freaking punk. Okay. I think I'm gonna build this out. Cause I, I'm unsure what I was doing wrong. Honestly, I, I don't know why it wasn't working. I'm assuming it has to do with size though. So I'm going to have to break all of this again. I'm assuming this is what the problem was. <sighs> I could also be wrong, but I think that's what it was. Cause I think it needs to be nine by nine. I don't know. Maybe so. I don't know. Let's learn together why this damn thing wasn't working, shall we? Just, but, but, but it won't turn on, and I don't know why. I genuinely have no idea. At least this thing's still freaking going. <laughs> the deuterium's good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so this system works just fine. And we're not gonna get any more of that, because this shit is broken. Oh. Oh my god! Oh. oh god, that was so painful. Oh man. Okay, so I messed up. I put vents on the saturation layer. I didn't know you couldn't do that, but lesson learned. That freaking sucked. I hated every bit of that. Okay, we can hold 51 million steam. This is probably as big as we need to make this though, because we can't produce... Oh, I mean, we can produce more fissile fuel, actually, but we're out of resources, so so we can't, actually. Are you... We're out of yellow cakes, are we? Or are you just... 
not outputting fast enough. Oh, you're not outputting fast enough. Well, let's make a, let's take a stack upgrade for you, bud. There you go. How's that? Still not good enough. Are you guys working at full speed? You are, but still not enough? Interesting. Well, we need to put another one here then. Oh, I'm so glad to have that freaking turbine done. That was so freaking painful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurt so bad. I don't even know how that long that was. I think I spent like over an hour doing that. So yeah, that was painful. <laughs> it was very, very, very painful, actually. It's that way? Yeah, okay. Yep, you're working. That's good. Holy cow. Well, through the power of editing, you hopefully won't have to deal with how painful that was for me, because that was god-awful. I'm sure you'll hear it, though, and you're going to hear it based on my disposition as well, because that was freaking annoying. I didn't like that at all. Are you able to keep up? You are. That's good. Can this keep up now? Okay, we can keep up with this now, I think. Yeah, with how much it's getting. Oh, it's doing seven and this is doing six. Hmm, <sighs> that'll make sense. Speed, we need more of these. Energies, we need 56 so we can have a matching amount. Give me these. Um, can we drop one more in here and it still be good enough? It looks like it. Okay. Uh, how's our uranium ingots? Are we positive now? Or are we still going down? Okay, we're still going down on the uranium front, which is unfortunate. Is that a limit to our crafter or is that a limit to the seeds? Is the crafter too slow for crafting the uranium? No, nope, it's, it's fine. So it's definitely the amount of seeds we have then. Okay, well, we need to make more of these then because I just saw that problem and I have to fix it, especially after dealing with what we just dealt with. That was horrible. I think we need uh, three more of these. I think we have four over there right now. So let's make uh, three more. And then we can fill a whole row with these. All right. That is three more uranium seeds. Let's go over here. I think they're on this row, right? Yeah. And then we have the uraninite. Uraninite seeds. I hope that those are enough now that we have seven of them. We've already gone down by four freaking 400 since I've been gone. It still doesn't look like it's enough. I mean, we're using three per second over here. Yeah, we're losing three per second. Well, at least we slowed the burn, I think. Anyway, let's fix this thing since it decided to break. Wait for this to fill up and hopefully we will be good to go again. It's full. Well, let's activate it. Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened? It should not break, at least. It couldn't get enough water. Why? I don't know. Is the sink busted? Do we need another freaking sink on here? Because I'll put one. I'll freaking do it. Evil craft, eternal water block. Need more dark gems. But we need dark ore for that. Do we have dark ore? We do. Okay, what can I do with dark ore? Squeeze. Or I just mine it with a fortune four. All right, there we go. Eternal water block. So I need the dark block. This was mentioned a long time ago by somebody. So props to you. I'm finally going to attempt to use it. But we need the weather bottle, a weather container, empty. And then my only sunshine. And then I guess I use that. And then I place it right there, maybe? I don't know, we'll have to see. Cause this freaking thing keeps breaking. Damage is still too high. Gotta wait for that to come down. So what, do I have to wait for it to be daytime to use this? I'm assuming. That is an assumption I will make. Weather bottle empty. How do I get the sunshine bottle? Oh, I had to put it in there with blood in here. The blood, wait, was that an infuser or what was that? Sanguinary environmental accumulator. What a name. How do you get this? Obtain when breaking a regular environmental accumulator. 
Oh, this is a process, huh? Materialize vengeance essence. Crush dark gem. Dropped when killing a vengeance spirit. What the hell? How do you kill a vengeful spirit? How do you kill one of these? Damn evil craft. You make an appearance yet again. <laughs> but how do you kill one? What just happened to him? Well, shoot. Vengeance ring. How do I get the vengeful essence? I have no idea. How the hell do I kill one? Because I didn't get any. Well, shoot. I'm not going to worry about that then. Nope, too much. Too freaking much water. There's something wrong here. Last time we didn't run into that problem though. He got plenty of water last time. All right, we slowed it down. Now we're going to go up to five. Okay. We're going to go up to 10. Still good on water. This is producing 500K and sending water back out. Let's do 25. We're good on the water. Okay. This is producing 1.4 million. It seems like it's going to be much better for us um, if we continue to raise this. So let's go to 40. We're still good on the water. We're producing 2.2 million. Let's go up to 50. We're still good on the water. Yep. We're chilling. Yep. Slowly. Okay. It's equalized. Let's go up to 62. Okay. We're good. And we're producing 3.5 million. Very nice. Is the damage going to go down? It is going down. Okay. Okay. We need to fix this uh, uranium problem. So I think I'm just going to make seven more uranium seeds to try to deal with that. We have extra power coming in here on top of this, which is really good because we want to be able to use this completely for the SPS over there. And yep, looks like we're good here. Is this importing? Yep, 3.5 million. We're getting a total of 201 million. Damn, we're using so much power. This is actually having to drain some now, which is... Pretty decent, but that means that we need to get more power storage going too. And we need to make this bigger with the, uh, yeah, we need more ways to store and send, but still we're, we're doing, we're doing good over here. I'm happy to see that. Wow. This was a freaking process. Is this working full time now? Uh, it, it can't. Is this filling up? No, these are using more nuclear waste than we can produce. Um, what are we at right now? Can we go all the way up? Are we solid on the water? Yes, we are. What's our max output now? 3.7. Then we're still solid on the fizzle fuel, which means we need to make this bigger because this thing's only halfway full with steam and it would then hopefully output more waste as well for these guys to take in and to output with. Well, these guys aren't going to produce anymore. How much uh, antimatter are we up to? We're up to 162 unfortunate how much are we burning now we're burning 200 million fe per tick jesus man but all of this is good that means that we are this is all efficient this is all working oh thank you i'm so glad i'm so glad that this is all working now we're all good here the only thing that we need to do now is to make this more large and i'm honestly gonna save that for the next episode because holy cow that was a freaking process oh we're invisible because of this i think this why yeah okay well thank you guys so much for watching and oh that was so painful with the turbine generator oh man like it actually hurt it hurt to to deal with that but thank you guys as always i hope you all are doing well We'll go ahead and improve the uranium production and we're going to increase the size of the fission reactor next time. And then maybe we'll get into doing some more stuff. Oh, look at that Enderman over there. He just chilling over there. Look at him. Anyway, thank you guys. Hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.